of Duty. And we're going all country fan on your dig plans with Cootie Guitars. <laughs> I don't know what you just said, but I think it meant welcome to the Anderton's review of these beautiful guitars by Yamaha. Yamaha! Yamaha. Um, yeah, these are the brand new APX uh, 500 and 700 Mark II. Rolls which, off the tongue, doesn't it? Yeah, you will start seeing in the shops from summer 2011. Yesterday we were very lucky, we had a couple of killer, killer guitar players uh, doing some videos with us who, who actually, just for a laugh, just jammed around on these two Well, guitars. I beat them with a stick until oh, they you? subdued and then decided to um, jam it. So you'll see a little bit of that interspersed with that, and I, and I believe that that is all done just off of miking the guitars yeah. up, isn't we it? we just used a room mic and they just sat down and played them acoustically. <laughs> APX uh, is 25 odd years old now, which is weird actually, because that's pretty much when I first started working in a guitar store. I kind of remember when APX was 25 brand new. years. I know, when I was four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and APX was a breakthrough at the time when it came out, because it was the first acoustic guitar that really had been built completely ground up to be an electroacoustic, to be mm. plugged in. So they had these really cool new compact small bodies. Uh, that were great to play when you were standing up, really comfy, kind of felt like an electric guitar. And the smaller, uh, shallower body um, meant that the guitar didn't feed back as much as a traditional dreadnought style guitar. And they were basically an instant hit and have been the number one best selling electroacoustic range in the world ever since. <laughs> of new ones now 500 and the 700 sorry other way around 500 and 700 I get confused uh, they each come in loads of different colors which is one of the reasons I think they're so popular because everybody finds a color that suits them so we got a rosewood fingerboard here and a rosewood bridge um, the back and sides are made from NATO which is a kind of mahogany alternative spruce top this is a really nice burst actually <laughs> And um, the electronics, there's an interesting little feature here. This AMF um, affects the way the mid circuit works so that you can effectively eliminate any feedback if you get feedback. <laughs> from us though now, um, as we attempt to outperform those two uh, guitar <laughs> legends, <laughs> it's not no, going to happen, not gonna happen uh, <laughs> is you're hearing us plugged into this uh, fantastic little acoustic guitar amplifier by Ashdown. Ashdown's a great English company, um, makes some very cool bass amps and very cool uh, acoustic guitar amps. This particular Ashdown is called an AAR1V. Uh, and it's uh, just been discontinued at the beginning of this year, but uh, they used to sell for about 350, 400 pounds, and I bought a truckload of them to sell for 199 pounds. And the cool thing is you can plug two guitars into this. Yeah, we, what we've actually got here is m most acoustic guitar amps <coughs> will let you plug two things in. Most of the time they would expect you to plug your guitar in and then a microphone to sing or perhaps a backing track or something, but we've chosen to just plug two acoustic guitars in and a bit of a jam. So let's hear the 500 first. <laughs> Thank you. 
So a couple of things I've noticed over the years selling APX, always been really, really popular guitars for uh, people with a slightly sort of smaller frame. So maybe people in their early teens or women, uh, smaller women. They're very uh, slim, aren't they? Yeah, they're just, they're just, you know, they're just much more comfortable than playing, you know, perhaps if you imagine a real big jumbo guitar where you sit sort of hunched over like that. <laughs> Um, and of course the choice of colours is great, so you don't, you know, everybody can have their own sort of unique kind of look, really find something that matches your sort of personality or what other guitars you have. <laughs> Uh, 700 is a very similarly featured guitar. I have a solid spruce top this time, uh, NATO back and sides, uh, the same layout of preamp. I noticed um, that you've got a really nice looking inlay here. Yeah, I, it's a cute rosette on the 700 series. I mean, I like what's on the 500, which is sort of raised mother of pearl thing, but I definitely like the, the sort of more subtle wooden yeah. kind of inlay on the on the 700. And you've got a wave curve at the end carve of your uh, your fretboard, whereas mine oh, is yeah. like a half moon. They've done that, on, that's always been on the, the Apex series, really nice feature. So anyway, my uh, preamps are actually two transducer pickups underneath the bridge. Now transducer pickups, generally speaking, are quite a slightly softer sound than a Piazzo. Um, arguably a tad more prone to feedback than a Piazzo, so you might have to be a little careful on this or use the notch filter a little more. Um, but it should deliver a slightly more natural sound out of the, the preamp system. <laughs> at Yamaha thought how could we make the APX 700 just that little tiny percentage more amazing and so they added an extra half a fret so you have 22 and a half fret. Let me show you what a difference that makes see normally you can only play to here now I can play to here so this is the the 700 now uh, just give you a little play on this now you'll notice it, it does sound a little different to the 500 as I mentioned it's got a different kind of pickup system in it I'm just adjusting the EQ controls on here. We'll give you a little close up of that later. The battery panel is in the same position that it used to be. So it's really, really easy to get to the battery. Uh, you need to change the batteries on here, I would say probably every two or three months if you're a regular player. Uh, one of the little hints for you is just switching the, just plugging the guitar in switches the preamp on. So when you finish playing, unplug the guitar and your battery will last a lot longer. These ones here, the, the 500 you should be picking up. As I said, the, 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 the price will, you know, may change. So right now, uh, these are selling for about 275 but please do go to the Anderson's website just to get an up-to-date price. This is a little dearer. This one's selling for about 475 So go check out the, the all the range of colors on the site and the latest pricing. <laughs> <laughs>